My name is Simona Netherlands. I'm the president of the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group. And the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group is a nonprofit organization that was set up to protect and preserve and monitor the Salt River Wild Horses. We have been uh, documenting and monitoring the horses for uh, close to 20 years. We have um, a record and details on each and every horse that's on the river. Um, you know, we have records of birth rates, death rates, migrating patterns, and herd dynamics. So we have uh, at least one person on the river every day. And all these people that were here on the river and photographers really, really had a passion and a love for the horses. So um, we decided to get together and, and form this organization together. And it really has become an enormous passion because when we found out that they are really in jeopardy and that the Forest Service wants to remove them, uh, this was three years ago that we found that out, um, we started preparing. We started preparing for the case that one day might come that the Forest Service would round up the horses. So although we were extremely shocked how it came about and, and how they only gave us seven days, um, we did always know that they had the intent to remove the horses. So we were prepared for that and I believe that's the reason why we, we were able to get into action so fast. We've heard, um, you know, some of the claims that, um, you know, my wild horses might be detrimental to the environment or cause something negative. Um, those claims right now are not based on any science at all. The claims um, that they made refer to some science that was in a completely different area and that science itself um, pointed out that there are both positive and negative effects of wild horses just like any species. We have been documenting everything that happens on this river for almost 20 years. Okay, We see abundant growth, you know, beautiful cottonwood trees from when they're little to now that they're big and full grown trees. Um, the horses have positive ecological benefits also by eating the river eelgrass out of the river. Uh, there, it's overabundantly growing and sometimes it clogs up the river. So by them eating that river eelgrass, which is, has a lot of good protein, makes them really healthy, um, they're helping to keep the river flowing. This area has its own challenges, but of which the horses are the very least of the problem. So for us to just remove an entire species um, without any science at all, without any real basis, um, in 30 years from now we would regret that. We simply just cannot make decisions for future generations like this. You know, there's, there's just simply no reason for it. There, there's also no reason why we can't manage wild horses humanely while balancing recreational needs and safety needs and environmental needs. There's absolutely